of those convicted of unauthorized distribution of information will be prosecuted. Laser wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. I need to go through a laser wall, preferably alive. What a silly idea, honey. That's awful risky. You should stay with me instead. I'll do whatever you want. Ugh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no time to waste. Don't listen to him, big guy. He wants to drive us apart. Take off that stupid glove so we can stay together forever. I see. Do you want me to punch you or tear you apart? You'd really kill me over a stupid glove, sugar? How would you survive in this cruel, violent world without me? Easily. It's not like you're actually helping me or anything. But I can't make things for you out of thin air, sugar. I need polymer and other components to work. Put your polymer inside me so I can pleasure you. Get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser protection already. Whatever you say, stud. Upgrade initiated. Relax and enjoy. Just promise you'll talk dirty to me again. I am so gonna punch you. Yes! Yes! Punish me, master! I love dominant males. Oh, gross. Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any crap. That hurt. That thing packs a punch. I almost bought the farm there. The key word being almost. You got that right. Let's go find that traitor. When I get my hands on him, I'm gonna rip his fucking head off. I mean, now I'm gonna rip something off. Damn it. Are you 
Don't worry, honey, I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Good. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a Burav. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning! Hey, freeze! Warning! Damn it! Right Lockdown in progress. pretty good at ordering those robots around. It's almost like they're his property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's gotta be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous Peck 4 power generator? Indeed it is. 
The Birch Tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. They're in the wall! Can you hear them? Scurrying around! I'm scared! I'm really scared of them! Scared of what? The robots? No! Robots kill quickly and simply, but they... His lingering polymer memory is exhausted, Comrade Major. Got it. People here are getting killed by stuff other than robots. But what? I cannot ascertain. But I'd be lying if I said we'll never find out. Understood. always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like... an explosion? Not necessarily. But the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. So, you think you're smarter than your bosses? No, you're twisting my words, Doc. I never said I was smarter than them. But you said... No, I said that if I had the same opportunities and resources they do, I'd accomplish just as much as they have, if not more. Do you envy people like Sechenov, Lebedev, Filomonenko? <laughs> envy isn't really the right word. Envy is when you want what someone else has. I don't want what anyone else has. I want to be right there with them. I want to be their equal. And I'm not talking about their discretionary authority. I want us all to be genuinely equal. But that's enough. We've talked about this a hundred times and you still don't believe me. This is a waste of time. Guard, we're done here.
presented as a valid document. 10% of cases require a follow-up analysis a week later. Loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nutcases, metallic or otherwise. Sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Please select the desired procedure.
So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted. Please select the desired procedure. <laughs> <laughs> 